Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm excited to walk you through a new tabular editor feature where they've added the ability to add groups at the table level. Now those of you familiar with display folders inside of Power BI Desktop know that there's a limitation where it can do it on pretty much any type of field item such as tables, columns, hierarchies, but you can't do it at the actual table itself. But within the tabular editor interface, they added an ability to organize it this way and it actually even saves it back to the model metadata even though you can't necessarily see it in desktop. So I wanna walk you through a script that also will automatically organize all of these between your fact tables, dimension tables, and even measures tables as well that they provided. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So from any Power BI desktop file, if we come to Tabular Editor 3, now by the way, this is something available for the Tabular Editor 3 version, not the 2 version, just as a heads up. But we're gonna open Tabular Editor 3 and I will be able to actually organize my tables in that interface into a new set of groups or folders. So open up Tabular Editor 3. Now what we're gonna do in here to be able to organize these is I do have an option in the interface to actually right click on any one of these tables that I can select create and I could add it to a table group if I wanted, but we're gonna do this a bit more efficiently. We're gonna come up to new C sharp script, select that here. And now I'm gonna navigate over to the web page for tabular editor. So let me go ahead and open that up. Now this link up here will be available in the video description below. But what we have, if we scroll down a little bit is a C sharp script that will automatically organize these into calculation groups, parameter tables, measure groups, fact and dimensions based off of the one to many side and a few other different types of logic checks that it's doing into here. So we're gonna copy this out, go back to tabular editor, and I'm gonna paste this into here. And now what we're gonna do is select run. And now notice that we have new items in here. The dimensional table has all of these listed, same with the facts and the parameter tables. Now, if you're interested in learning about tabular editor or other external tools, we actually have a lot of trainings related to either standard Power BI training or more advanced Power BI training as well. As you can see from some of these examples, there's a lot of rich content provided and hundreds of pages of documents that go with the training as supplemental resources, plus all of the demos. So feel free to check out our website. And I can actually see that for parameter tables, it included my DAX folder, my metric selection and breakdown selection, which is a field parameter, but also a manually entered table that I use for a measure selection. So based off of the fact that these have no relationships, they're disconnected and they're doing advanced organizations either for columns or measures. Now again, this will not be observable in the model. If I come up to here, go to file, save, and close back out of this to go to desktop, you will not actually see the folders in here. So this interface will not expose them, but if I reopen tabular editor three, you will still see all the groups organized over here for our dimensions, facts, and parameter tables. Now, there's one final thing to mention on how this is being stored. I did actually talk to the tabular editor team, including Daniel and a few others, and they mentioned that there, for each object in the model, there's basically a general note field where you can put in comments, notes, or anything else. It's a kind of a dumping spot for a lot of different metadata that can be inserted into there, and they scan that for certain syntax that they're adding into this, which then shows up graphically into this organization. So it's something that's safe to apply to the model. As you've seen, it doesn't actually show up in Power BI Desktop, but it does organize it for Tabular Editor. So when you're using Tabular Editor as a designer for your modeling, which hopefully many of you are already using, it does organize and collect those tables at a much broader scale, especially when you're dealing with enterprise models that could have 40, 50 plus different tables. So hopefully this is something that you found useful. As always, don't forget to check out some of our related content here in the upper right. And please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to this video. Drop any notes down in the comments section and also offer any suggestions for a future video. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.